What up, what up, what up everybody? So we're back in this next episode. Now I do wanna let you guys know, I'm fully committed to this Mark III reactor and the reason why this has pretty much been all the videos I've been uploading for the past week or so is because Mark II reactor is down. It's MIA, it doesn't work, it has leaks, it's trash. I'm tired of that stupid reactor anyway. We're doing this, this is the next generation, the next innovation, this is the future baby. So we're focusing on this. Screw that old reactor, we're doing this guys. So that's why this is the, gonna be the only content on this channel pretty much until we get this thing done. But I promise you we're gonna do Will Power All the Size again. I promise you we're gonna do more distillery stuff again. But right now, I, can, I don't have any oil to distill because I don't have a reactor to make the oil. I don't have any thing to wheel it pyrolysize because my pyrolysis reactor that I had is trash. Well, it's been trash the whole time. So anyways, with that being said guys, I've been on this hustle, really hard work, you know, really, really hard work. I've been doing this full time, my guys, you know what I'm saying? I'm not working a job, this is my job. And I'm welding these wave guides on there. I'm welding all these things on here, guys. It's a lot, I won't lie, but we're doing it. As you see, I'm mounting the second one on here. And I space is about, I think it was about six inches apart each. So it is almost like an assembly line thing because I'm making the same waveguide mount like five or six times, right? Four or five times. And even though it's relatively simple in terms of like geometry, like I'm not having to cut out no triangles, like I'm making the Illuminati pyramids or no crap, like just Giza, it's still a lot. It takes me a whole day to make pretty much one mount. I'll be honest with you guys, I suck. I'm not that good. But you see, we got it. All right, guys, we're going to run both of them now. So I'm going to first turn this one on because the fan is not on this one, so we can hear. Then I'm going to turn the second one on. Um, and the fan is on that one, so when we turn this second one on, we won't be able to hear the magnetrons anymore. All right, both magnetrons are on. This is zeroing out because there's so much, so much EMF right now. Okay, so after a little bit, a couple, um, about two minutes, we got a lot of vapor formation. And that's really all we're here to see. We, there's no way to know what the microwaves are doing in there. We don't know if they're destroying each other. We don't know if what, but I do know that they're just breaking down the plastic. So we can assume it's working. So I wanted to show you guys this because this is a real perspective and this is a real situation. So you're welding, you, you don't have precise tools, you don't have a lathe, you don't have a CNC mill, you don't have a laser cutter. Things never fit up perfectly. You always have huge gaps. Don't ever be discouraged. Don't ever think you can't do it. If there's a will and you have a way, you will figure it out. Just ask yourself how. Don't ask your, don't tell yourself, I can't. Don't, don't even say those words in your heads. Don't even think those words in the future, okay? If, I'm gonna slap you right now if I hear you thinking those words five minutes from now. You know, if I even know that you're gonna think those words in the future, I'm slapping you. Because you can do it, okay? Don't let it stop you. I have none of these precise tools. None of them. But but I make it work, okay? Every time I put these waveguides together, it's trash. The fitting is trash. I can't even cut things 90 degrees consistently. Or if you guys ever are gonna build this, just know that you can do it. It doesn't matter what you have. Just put your mind to it, put your soul into it, and you're gonna do it. Let me show you guys as I weld this. All right, guys. So it's pretty much nighttime now, and I just finished um, installing this. As you can see, it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, man. Like it's like an assembly line. So this right now is the equivalent of three microwaves gang banging something. Like goodness gracious, you can only imagine how the plastic is gonna feel when we put its poor soul in there. <laughs> So now that we're at this point in the video, guys, you already seen me build one of these waveguides. I got like two more to build, as well as a window, because I want to build a window for this thing. 
So with that being said, we're just gonna go running through this thing. You know, it's been taking me all week to do this, but I got all the footage. We're gonna put this all together. That reminds me, guys, tell me where you're from. I love to learn about different cultures. I love to see all the people in the comments. I know we got people from all around the world. Shout out my people from Sweden. Shout out my Filipinos, Filipinas. Yo, y'all know the song. Let's do this, guys. People often will ask me, like, yo, Jab, how in the world do you get this thing airtight? Because when you go to put these waveguides in there for the microwaves, like we have all up in here, they basically are just giant holes for microwaves to go in. <laughs> Almost nobody asked me that, I was just saying that. But the point is, I'm sure many of you wonder. I'm sure for many of you, it doesn't even go in your mind, like, this is a thing that we have to do. Um, you guys think it probably is just sealed on its own, but not at all. I have some, some denatured alcohol here, and we're just going to wipe this off because we're going to put some RTV silicone on this. And therefore, it is the best material <clears throat> to use as a gasket in this everywhere in this reactor. And it's high temperature resistant. We have that surface clean. Next, we have this right here. Now, this is a welding blanket, a piece of welding blanket like this stuff. And I literally cut a square out to fit this. And this is made of fiberglass and vermiculite. And this stuff is microwave transparent, meaning microwaves can go through here, but it's also a matrix, airtight matrix. No air or gases can go through, and it's heat resistant, temperature resistant, or corrosion resistant, all that. So we're basically gonna mount this on right here. We're gonna put silicone around the square and just mount this on, screw this down, and this thing is airtight. I one time used JB Weld for this, Rated at 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's like that's like 800 centigrade. It if it, it de degraded. If it absorbs microwaves, it's screwed because microwaves are relentless. Okay, because they don't really care about like your melting point. So they don't care about your melting point. If you absorb, if it absorbs microwaves, it's being um, atomically broken down, right? So okay, so we got the silicone on there. You can't really see it that well on the camera, to be honest. Just a damn shame. Anyway, now we just put this cover over there, and look, it sticks to it just fine. Just make sure it's covering all sides, um, just like that. Um, make sure, yeah. Hopefully, this piece is big enough. Not gonna screw me over. You know, you got. I, I should have cut it a little bit bigger. Okay, guys. So. This right here, if any of you are OG fans from the old days, you remember this was actually a little contraption I made. I tried to make these a waveguide. So this is a piece of quartz glass airtight sealed in there with silicone. And I want this to be the, the mount for the light because we can have a window, but since when this is closed, you're not gonna see anything. It's so dark in there. So I actually got this light from an oven and believe it or not, the holes on that flange line up perfectly with the holes on the flange on this. So to me, that's done deal, divine intervention. Get out of here, right? 
we're doing it. Another thing, I wanted to talk to you guys about this window. So first of all, that little orange tint you see in the window, that's actually a, a piece or a sheet of very fine copper woven mesh. So it's a Faraday cage. Therefore, the microwaves will get bounced back into the chamber, but light can still go through so we can still see what's in. It'll just have that little orange tint on there. Now I sealed this with silicone and I kind of did that double. This is a piece of borosilicate glass, okay? I didn't have quartz glass this big. They're, it's really expensive, but I had a piece of borosilicate and I basically cut out a silicone rubber gasket and put it around it. So that way when I tighten it, it won't be putting pressure directly on the glass. And I also put RTV silicone all up in there. You can kind of see it seeping out all over the place. But you know, we rather have this thing airtight than not airtight and be pretty, right? So you can see I have everything mounted up. I have the light mounted, the light on, as well as the windows and some plumbing stuff going here. We really got this thing put together. Now, the sun is beaming down at this time, so you really, it's hard to see, but trust me guys, you can see what's in there. Um, especially if the sun wasn't beaming, you can kind of see there's like a piece of like, I think aluminum in there or something, but trust me guys, this is great. We'll really be able to see what's going on in there. And as long as that copper mesh holds up, we're good. So you can see I added a port here. That's gonna be the port where we pump in gas to get the air out, the oxygen out. This other port over here is gonna be the main plumb line. Now you may be asking, why do I have this big pipe coming out and it reduces smaller, right? You see big there, small here? Well, that's because I can't afford the big pipes, guys. And I'm, they may not even be necessary, right? They may not. Um, so we're gonna start small, but I have the big pipe foundation so I can always go back and add big pipes later if the small pipes don't work, right? So other than that, guys, I would love to run this for you guys, but the silicone needs like at least 24 hours to set but i wanted to give you guys an update thank you so much for watching guys this has been a really good journey a lot of work but you know we're gonna do this together peace out tell me where you're from by the way love y'all